guys, so I thought it was time for a flip through of my home planner because it's been quite a while since I've done a detailed setup of it. It lives in this A5 Disc Agenda Manta from Doki Book, which I'll link down below. It's a really, really nice, grainy, vegan leather. I've done a review of this planner. It comes with a disc bound system with the disc agenda, but you can also just use it as a cover, which is what I'm doing. So if you unsnap it, this is what it looks like on the inside. And I love this because it's the perfect size for my home planner, which as you can see is a Jewish calendar. It's a spiral bound planner, which is a bit bigger than A5 size. Uh, so this is my Hobonichi cousin. And as you can see inside the cover, the cousin is a little bit smaller than this planner. So this won't fit in a normal A5 cover. And that's why this is so perfect because it's made for the disc bound planners, which are a bit bigger. So I have a big mess of stickers over here. These are just all of the stickers that I use kind of on a regular basis in this planner. They are functional. These are some of the Mambi stickers from the, the small packs. And then I just have a kind of mishmash of all kinds of other stickers like Happy Scrappy and various stickers that I have acquired over time. And I just keep them in the secretarial pocket in no real order and it's very messy. So this planner has everything to do with our like kind of home life. So the main thing is joint schedules for me and James and also for our dogs. And sometimes it has tasks that both of us have to do. And I'll show you what, and as we get into it. I really, really like this planner, except for the fact that it's spiral bound, which is not my favorite binding option, but keeping it in here kind of conceals the spiral and makes me happy with it. So. This is a weekly planner. It doesn't have a monthly view at all, which doesn't bother me because for this planner, we don't need a monthly view. We don't use it to, you know, give an overview of our appointments or anything like that. All we use it for is our sort of day-to-day -day tasks that concern both of us. And so I actually prefer that it doesn't have a monthly because it would just be wasted space and I would feel like I should be using it for something, you know, and then I'd feel guilty about the empty pages. So this way it's very, very straightforward because I can use everything that's in here. So this is when I started using it. This was the first week when it started. And when I first started this, I had the idea that I would use it primarily to mark when I was at home, when James was at home, when one of us was out. And then I was going to try to do meal planning on this side. So whereabouts and, and appointments would be here, meal planning would be here. And as you can see, this was a fail from day one. So my beautiful stickers that I put down remain blank and meal planning has been quite a struggle for us really for, with very few exceptions I've kind of gone back and forth whether to do it or not whether to stop at the moment we're not doing it at all we've had you know various attempts in different notebooks and so I thought it would be quite nice to have it in here because this is you know what we'll be looking at anyway but it just didn't work out and as you can see with this layout. This is my colorful cartoon hoedown planner. So this is the one where I just kind of fill everything with stickers. What I normally do is just put the functional stickers down, not necessarily all at the beginning of the week, but you know, kind of like as things come up. Sometimes I'll put blank ones down so that I can fill them in later. Sometimes I just add them on the spot. That's why all of these are here. And then I'll go back at the end of the week and add in the purely decorative stickers in empty spaces because if I were to put all of these decorations all over the planner at the beginning of the week, I, I find it way too confusing and it's hard to find the actual information. But this is um, a planner where it's kind of our, our, the custom with this planner is not to actually write anything on the paper. We write everything on stickers. So I really like that because it kind of gives me an excuse to just make it really colorful and decorate everything, even though a lot of the decoration is actually functional. So. I've never done anything systematic, although I'm thinking at some point of trying to do like make a rainbow spread where this is red, this is orange, this is yellow, etc. But up until now, it's just been a big jumble of colors. So here I wasn't really putting down a huge amount. This was like um, we had a painter come to look at the flat to give us a quote for repainting. Here we were supposed to go to the cinema, but that didn't happen because, you, as you can see, it just says cinema, and I'd left it blank to write in the time and what it was, and we just never got there. And then I was away, so if I'm away, I write that in so that James knows. 
and this is all like basically the only things that were on here was when I, I was away I went to Penn State as some of you know and then this is the day that I got back James was in the market so I always write down if he's in the market he doesn't write down very much in this planner but he consults it a lot so I'm kind of like the planner boss but <laughs> but he uses it which makes me very happy and he really likes it and he likes the stickers we're going to do another video at some point talking about like kind of our joint planners and how we how we both feel about them and what we both use them for so as you can see this is a, a week per page planner which is slightly unusual it's it's kind of one of the rarer formats i guess so occasionally you get a, um, a two-week spread which i really like because then you just have this beautiful colorful sight before your eyes sometimes you have one week and then you have a picture which i guess i guess these pictures are all of jewish art from i think it's from the jewish museum in new york so i guess you could say that these photographs don't really go very well with the stickers but whatever makes us happy so as you can see a lot of times there isn't really a huge amount written in here because Sometimes it's just because I don't manage to do it and then I you know, just go back and cover it with decorative stickers so that it doesn't look empty. Sometimes it's because there isn't a lot going on that we both need to know about. So like, for example, here our dogs went to the dog sitter for the day and I wrote that down. And then here James was in the market and then the next day we went to Wales. And then this is all blank because I didn't bring it with us to Wales just because it's, you know, one more one more planner to carry and I'm already carrying enough planners with me and when we're in Wales generally we don't really need it because we just use our individual planners and we're both there at the same time so there aren't things like one of us being out at work or appointments that we both need to know about then we came back to London and then I just recorded when I was out I was this was kind of around when when my term started at university and so I started to be out more uh, our dogs had a vet checkup we had some carpenters come to redo our kitchen and then James started driving lessons so I put his driving lessons in here and then this was um, Shul Synagogue which we attempted to go to and failed miserably so the rest of this is just decorative now here you see this pencil sticker our dog Tails started to have he has this eye condition where we have to give him eye drops twice a day so I thought I would put it in here and then we could mark off if one of us had given it to him in the morning, you know, so the other one would know. It doesn't really matter. It's like he, he can have more, so it's not it's not critical. But I just thought it'd be useful to know if he'd already had them. So I started putting this pencil sticker everywhere so it would be easy to recognize because, as you can see, it can get kind of messy with all of the stickers. So I kind of marked that in. And then... It actually kind of went wrong because as you can see here, it says Jay Takotis, James went to Wales and took Tails with him. And so these stickers that I put in were kind of redundant because Tails wasn't at home. And so I just wrote in things like that I was I was out at the university all day, that um, Mochi went to stay with the dog sister, and then that James was coming back from the cottage the next day. Sometimes this is quite redundant because at this time, James wasn't even here and I was on my own. And obviously, as you know, I have all of my other planners. I really didn't need this, but I just kind of like having something that is open on our table. This is always open on the table in the living room. And so, you know, we can easily see it and check it. And I also really like writing in it because of the stickers, because it's my only weekly planner that I get to decorate. And so it just somehow has a different feeling than the planners, which are undecorated and very plain and clean, which I also like, but it's a different feeling. So sometimes I just enjoy writing, you know, putting things in here. So then we carried on with the marking, marking the stickers here, uh, the pencil stickers for the eye drops. And I put in James driving lesson. And then like when we were both out and sometimes I put in if one of us is home. So like I was at home with the dogs, James was in the market. And then I tried putting in some more stuff like tasks. So here at Shabbos prep, this is like kind of preparation for Shabbat, which we have been very bad at, at keeping, but is a goal of ours that we'd like to like kind of keep it so that we can have a day off together. And so I put this to do sticker from Mamby on here just to indicate that this was 
stuff to do, the Shabbos uh, preparation, and we were then supposed to have a friend come over and watch a movie, and so I put this movie sticker on, and then in the event she had to cancel, so that didn't happen. But as you can see, a lot of times there isn't a huge amount on here. Then, let's see, we're getting into the beginning of October. So, this was, there were some Jewish holidays happening here. And so I put in, like, the synagogue services, uh, when James was in the market on the, the evening, the, the day before the holiday started. And stuff like, so I had to go read uh, Torah and synagogue. We were keeping up with the eye drops. And then, you know, kind of the rest of the holiday stuff. We've been attempting and failing miserably to have a date night. So I really like these date night stickers. And I put one on here because we were going to attempt it, but it didn't happen. And and then I just wrote on when we were both out and that I was at home. Sometimes for, for James to know, because my schedule is reasonably predictable in that I'm in the university on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And then I'm working at home on Mondays, Fridays, and Sundays. But, you know, it can be kind of hard to keep track of if it's not your schedule and I'm not always out for the same number of hours on the days when when I have to go into the university so I just always put it in here so that he knows I'm at home I'm not at home and obviously on on Saturday and Sundays it kind of it's easier to know that I'm at home because I usually don't go out although sometimes I have to meet a colleague on Sunday so here I got a little bit adventurous and I put this sticker on and wrote cancelled on it so I don't actually have any cancelled stickers but I, I just wrote that on to show that this event had been cancelled. Then here, I realized that actually having the eye drops record in here was not working because the eye drops in our bedroom, and I mean, you know how it goes, right? If you if something isn't right next to you, then you're probably going to forget to record it. So I decided it would be better to have a separate planner that we just use for ticking off the eye drop medicine schedule and leave it right next to the eye drops in the bedroom and I think I showed that to you in my last uh, lineup um, a couple of months ago which it's it's the Disc, Disc Agenda Diva which works perfectly for that because it has morning afternoon and evening sections and so I just tick off the morning and tick off the evening and sometimes if we give them an extra one in the afternoon then we can tick that off as well and that's all that it's being used for and it works really well so meanwhile I'd put all of these pencil stickers down assuming that I would be using them for the eye drops, and so I started using them for something else. So here, this was a rare day when we wrote down what we were going to have for dinner, and I put it on there, basically because these pencil stickers stand out, in, in my head anyway, more than the other ones, and, you know, it's kind of a regular occurrence because I'd put them on every day. So I so that was dinner. Then dinner kind of failed. And I, and I wrote this down for James's driving lesson. There's no method to the rest of this, as you can see. So I'll, usually I just take whatever sticker kind of, I don't know, makes itself apparent to me at any given moment and put it on. And I try to vary them so that there aren't too many of the same type in the same day. So if I have one flag-shaped sticker, then the next time I'll try to look for a teardrop sticker or a panda sticker or just, you know, something of a different shape. So... Occasionally, I would put down something that indicated how things were going or just sort of randomly something else about the day. So here I was kind of sad this day and I wrote, I, I put the sticker down that says, I feel miserable. It's not really a memory planner, but I kind of feel like going through, it just gives you little snippets of what was going on. And because it has the decorations, I really enjoy flipping through it and seeing, you know, how, how things have evolved. So I'm not doing this systematically at all, but because I do have some stickers that, you know, have like sayings or quotes on them, I thought occasionally I'll put one on if I find one that's apt at the right time. But I really don't put any time or effort into this. I just have the, I have these functional stickers here, which I use for, you know, writing down appointments as they come up. And then, like I said, sometimes I put them down at the beginning of the week so that it will be kind of like pre-set. And then I've got my decorative stickers in uh, an A5 Filofax Domino. And so usually on Friday evenings, which is, you know, like our time off beginning of Shabbat, I get them out and go through and decorate as much as I can without having it become too messy. And so if I come across something then that seems suitable, I'll, I'll put it in. 
sometimes I decorate in the middle of the week in the evening. Usually if I'm feeling like kind of really stressed, but I've finished all of the things that I absolutely have to do, then I'll do a bit of this because it is a very, very calming. And I mean, I think that's probably a big reason why a lot of us enjoy decorating is just it's very, very good for cheering you up. So occasionally I attempted to, to put down dinners here, but it wasn't in any kind of you know, uh, coherent, organized way. It was just sort of sporadic. And it's the same schedules. Here I put down a, a job for James to do. Then I had, um, James was in the market and I had dreadlock maintenance, which is very exciting. And over here, we decided to make a considered effort to do meal planning again, just the dinners though. And so we wrote down a few things from a cookbook that we wanted to use and kind of put them just on, a, on an available sticker every day here. And so the idea was that at the beginning of the week, we would do all of the meal planning for the whole week and then everything would be sorted out. And so we did actually manage to do that for one week, although we didn't make all of the things on it. We actually made the plan, but we didn't really stick to it. We had to bump some of them. So yeah, that was that week. I, if I can, I, if I can find a sticker that fits, I sort of like to cover everything. So I covered the sides. I haven't been using washi tape on this because I seem to be incredibly lazy and all I can be bothered to do is put down stickers. So sometimes there are these stickers that are kind of like washi shaped and I, I put them down, but I haven't done anything other than that. Then, there was more more attempts at dinner planning kind of for this week i i sort of carried on as well and i wrote down all these things and then i was away overnight so there was no meal planning there and then i tried using this mambi sticker this cleaning sticker to indicate that we should clean the flat on friday afternoon i don't think that actually happened <laughs> and james was supposed to have his driving theory test which was very much expected he'd been really excited about it and and been looking forward to it and so i put let's do this and i put a little symbol of a car and an exclamation mark and big day these are all from the mambi stickers because that was it's kind of i really really like this idea of using functional stickers and stickers that have something to do with the events that are going on instead of just random stickers which is what i've always done before so this is kind of a mix of the two i guess there are a lot of random stickers just to add color and then if i can you know, I'll try to find some appropriate stickers, but it's still kind of a mess. So I sort of enjoy that. It's a bit chaotic. Then it, on this week, I hit upon this brilliant plan, which as you can see has been a spectacular failure. I decided to use a systematic uh, way of labeling meals. So like the same sticker basically. So. I decided to use these teardrop shaped stickers, which are from Happy Scrappy. So I put one on every day, except for this one, which because it already had this big washi sticker over it that I put on previously. And then this one, because I I only decided to do this, I think, during the week. And so I was like, oh, I can put that those down. But there wasn't the same space on all days because this sticker was already here on the right. I decided to put it on the right. So that one went in the middle. And then as you can see, they're all blank. We didn't manage to do the meal planning. And then I carried on the next week. So I thought, yes, I will label these. I'll put down meal planning stickers on the right side and it will be all perfect and organized and you know, totally systematic. And as you can see, everything is blank except for the last one, which was yesterday. And I just wrote that down because during the day we decided what we're going to have. So I thought I'm bloody well going to use this sticker. And I actually started to kind of um, make them rain vertical, which I was really pleased about. And then I've continued on, as you can see, and I sort of really got into this and I was very, very pleased with myself. And I actually pre-planned a whole bunch of these, you know, kind of into December. So there you are. That was quite ambitious and optimistic on my part, because as you can see for the last two weeks, we just haven't used them. So some of it was because last Thursday we went to the cottage in Wales which is kind of, the, the wall has been fixed, which is really exciting. So it's kind of starting to look very, very habitable, which is awesome. 
And we were there until Tuesday. And then we had another attempt at date night, which was just silly because we were getting back from Wales and it was a really long train journey and that didn't happen. And then the next day I went to Vienna uh, for a workshop and I was there until Friday. And so I put this plane sticker from Mambi down here and then I put another one on the day that I was coming back. And I was really excited that I managed to do that and put it down kind of on the right days. And then I put a cleaning sticker for Friday in my ever optimistic idea that the cleaning will be done on Friday, but it, that didn't happen. And so sometimes I use these weekend stickers, uh, also from Mambi. As you can probably tell, like the Mambi stickers are just my absolute favorite at the moment. I really, really love them, especially the value packs, which I now have four of. So with this planner, because it's a Jewish planner, it starts on Sunday and it ends on Saturday. That's like kind of how the, the Jewish week goes. So the weekend is split. And in a way, I guess like kind of from a Jewish perspective, the weekend is really Friday to Saturday. It's like Friday evening to Saturday evening. And then Sunday is, you know, kind of like the beginning of the work week. So weekend stickers in a way don't make that much sense because, you know, they, they don't spread over the, you know, the Saturday, Sunday weekend. But I just put them down here and I think that's fine. So this is the current week and James has gone to Wales again to work on the cottage and he's taken tails with him. So I just wrote in this, this meal planning spot, which as you can see my beautiful rain medical meal planning stickers, which I organized so carefully and they're going to waste, but I thought I'll just use them for something else rather than leave them empty because the stickers are already there. So I've just written that James is in Wales and then he's coming back on Wednesday and you know, like when I'm in the university. And as you can see, this is a kind of typical example of what a current week looks like. So it's a lot less busy than a finished week, right? Because I'll just put on the stickers for things that are happening so that I can see them. So I'll, I can see here, this is today. So I had to go out in the afternoon, James is in Wales. Then tomorrow I'm at home. We have to take out the recycling. That's every Monday night. And you know, then I, I wrote my work hours down just like I said, because I didn't want these stickers to go to waste and I kind of, you know, like having it here and being able to see it, even though I don't strictly need this as this information is in my work planner. And then towards the end of the week, it's my friend's birthday. So I use one of the birthday stickers so that I, you know, can uh, send her a message. And then I've, I've written down the synagogue times for Friday evening and, and Saturday morning. And then my friend is, is, organizing uh, like kind of an evening get together, which is very rare. I never do anything or go out at all. Well, quite rarely. So this is kind of an exciting event on Saturday evening. And that's the current week. And then in terms of pre-planning, I kind of plan a little bit ahead just because I really like to use the stickers. And when I you know start usually on Friday evenings with the stickers, I quickly run out of room on the side. So I end up going a few weeks in advance just because I really like to put the stickers down and, you know, it kind of fills up pretty quickly. So like you see in this current week, I can't put anything else down because I, I if I do, I'll regret it later. If I end up having some actual information that I have to put down and, you know, I've got all this decorative stuff here. So I, I just end up kind of going further ahead and putting them on the sides. So I've got this meal planning layout here which I am going to try to use for something else and then on Saturday because that's our day off I so I put time to relax here and usually I can be a little bit more reckless with putting decorative stickers on Saturday because we don't have a lot going on then and then I put all of these Mambi stickers down the side and here I put weekend plans on between Friday and Saturday I put the recycling in for the next few weeks because that's a recurring activity which is easy to forget and so I thought I might as well just put that in. Then on the 1st of December, I put this uh, advocate sticker on because that's when our dogs have to have their flea medicine and they give you these stickers that come in the pack. So I thought oh, I will put them in the planner. So yeah, here, as you can see, weekend plans is kind of between Friday and Saturday. And then all I have after that is this, this very optimistic meal planning and the recycling stickers, which goes until mid-December and I've just put in Tails' birthday and I had this pack of emoji stickers and there was this one that looks very similar to Tails so I put that on for him. And then here in the latest Mambi pack 
uh, they had this sheet of holiday stickers and a lot of them are not applicable to me but I was very excited to see that they had this one that says Hanukkah begins and obviously as this is a Jewish planner it's labeled here Erev Hanukkah which is like the evening that Hanukkah starts but I thought I might as well take advantage and put the sticker in as well so that's as far as I've got so it's it's kind of I've had this since the end of August so I'm quite pleased with myself because I've managed to keep in it this long and my goal is I really really want to use this for the entire year and be able to kind of look back and have all of these colorful spreads so yeah I so that's that's how I'm using it at the moment uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, as always thank you so much for watching I really really appreciate it and I'll be back soon bye <laughs>